Pendulum suck going second. I'm the god of destroying your deck. What are you the god of again? Even when we had three of me, you can only see a third of the picture. Without you, I can't go second with pendulums. Massacre. Are you the god of Massacre or the god of pendulums? My deck will never be as strong as we were together. You're right. It will be stronger. I am the Pendulum God. I will lose every die roll and still win. I will break every board. What are you the god of again? Yo, hella! Get your hella ugly face out of my face, okay? Pendulums are the best deck in the world going second. And I'm about to prove it. Four matches in a row, lost a die roll. Enjoy greatness, boys. Just another one of the Pen God training for the boys. So hit the subscribe button. Enjoy the video. Going second, going first, going third. None of it matters. You're gonna win anyways. Now, just before I show you guys how you specifically need to play going second with pendulums or so any deck for that matter, I would like to bring your attention to this very beautiful play map, which now has zones. So if you guys are fans of Electrum or my bicep, check it out in the description below, second link in the description and probably in the comments. Super affordable, only $35, one player mats. At, ooh, I'm getting a little bigger. Okay, well of course I'll be getting bigger. Anyways, something else is getting bigger is the amount of ass whoopings I've been giving on the daily. So with that being said, enjoy your daily dose of a Steven whooping ass. Here we go, baby, here we go. We're gonna be doing four matches, all four matches we lose a die roll. Four matches in a row, we lose the die roll, and <laughs> how do we gotta see what happens then? They are not just uh, matches handpicked. These are matches, that, the four matches I played today where I lost a die roll, and just see for yourself. Hey, look, we opened our friend Mayor Mayor and Gate Zero. Hey, Mayor Mayor is always stuck to my hand. Anyways, we're gonna fast forward to this. We're playing Sky Strikers. We're gonna go fast. This guy made one mistake on his turn. He wanted to make sure he got the engage draw there. He made one mistake on his turn and he's not going into. I don't know why the hell he went to Shizuku. Uh, he should have 1000% gone into uh, one of the other Sky Striker cards. I guess he didn't put his extra deck or he's an idiot, whatever it may be. But anyone doesn't play Pendulum is an idiot. So he got himself double engage draw. He could have had an extra card at the end, but it really didn't matter because we're OTKs last this turn anyways, hint, hint. So, yeah, that's all he had. He definitely had some hand trap in there, so you got to be worried of a hand trap. Didn't ask a pen call, so we're going with the pen call. Then we keep going here. Uh, the you have the Veiler, so he Veilers Electrum. Well, I'm like, okay, what the hell's a Veiler going to do? Absolute. He MSTs. Okay, look at this. He had the, he had, look at that. So, the reason why he didn't have luck, he had a shit on a hand trap. He had Veiler, Ogre, MST, and the Widow Anchor. Uh, so he seemed good in that end. He has a uh, good rating, like 762252. I don't know why he didn't go into another one. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh, I don't know. He probably wanted to keep the Kagari on board and not have it in the graveyard. That's the probably the reason why he did it. Because he felt safe. He felt safe that he had four interruptions. Valor, Ogre, MST, Widow Anchor. So he felt safe. He felt safe that he had those four interruptions. So he wanted to keep his Kagari on board. So hopefully for him, he can use it next turn. But what do I say to that? <laughs> not... So he widows my, uh, absolutely, obviously hurts a lot here. So I can't guard dragon combo or do any of that sort, but I'm like, ah, that's okay. I had a weird hand, to be honest, but, uh, after all the interruptions, he wants to take it. I'm like, okay, no problem, buddy. No problem. We go triple burst dragon to stop the raid from resolving. Uh, which rate, we, we play triple burst because of the guard dragons, but also coincidentally, uh, absolutely obliterate striker raid. Now, absolutely going to come back to you. You're going to get a shit ton of counters here. And you're gonna be in a fantastic position to win. There's really nothing you can do to win at this point. He needs some great ones. What's he gonna get here? He uh, uses a uh, field spell, doesn't hit because, yeah, he's playing a shit deck called Sky Striker. And what else are you gonna do? I think it's Scoop Face very soon. He passes. And then we go Phoenix to pop Diet and Jamming Waves. A Vortex comes out. And then uh, he loses. And Triple Burst is gonna bring out Electrum. And he loses. So game two, well played. Goodbye. Okay, GG, GG. Game two now. Uh, I like to open the stones like I do every game. Like, look, I open Mayor Mayor again. What the fuck? 
Uh, this is not, I don't do, I don't tape this shit to my hand. Okay, the first hand you guys saw, it wasn't even that good. I called the stones anyways, because even my shit hands are amazing. Look at this, another shit hand. Shit hand, mirror, mirror. But it's still broken, because every hand's broken. Even the shittiest of shit hands in my deck is broken. Triff logic, triff math. So now we're going to go let him do his thing. I hope he has five interruptions, because that's all he's going to need. We don't sign any, like, game-winning cards, like, uh, Twin Twister. Not even, that's not even game-winning. We don't sign Denko's Kaijus. We don't need to sign those against this shit deck. Just play uh, one, one card out. So it's like a Eccentric, Garuda, and he auto-scoop when he realized... Uh, he's playing my deck, and, uh, yeah, uh, get wrecked, bam, get wrecked there. Two old striker, you got a scoop there. Now, next, we're going to base, uh, this is Salamangrates. We got a match with uh, Salamangrates, a match with striker, and, uh, that was a questionable move he just did. Anyways, let him do his thing, I don't care. But, hey, and then we have a, a very special match at the very end, which I'm not gonna, I don't wanna spoil it, but hey, it's a really underrated deck we're gonna face at the very end. I might have even took an L in one of the matches. You're gonna see, hey, we face uh, Salads here. I expect a hand trap in his hand, I expect two real back row. Uh, so he's called by the Grand Theft Dark Form, that's cool. So uh, it definitely hurt, okay, it's not cool, it hurt for sure. Like, you gotta, we have to, it's basically like negating the ravine, because we have to discard a card for the worm to be there. So it's like he essentially uh, negated the ravine. It's like ogreing the ravine or actually the ravine, which hurt because you have to put it in there. Which is cool. We needed it without the ravine. Our hand was, was pissed. Now we needed the chronograph. Uh, now there's a few options you can do here. Uh, that gets hit. I'm like, okay. So that uh, he, the reason why I wanted to roar, it was correct play to roar the alliance instead of pen call because I have one card left in my hand. And if he let the alliance go and I had pen call in hand, the roar was going to get dealt with uh, with other stuff. I was going to Phoenix have another monster on board. See, he had to roar the lines. There's no option there to roar the pen call. I was not activating the pen call, knowing the roar was there. The lines was just activated to put a counter there. So the correct play to use roar on alliance. We bring out this and jackal. I think I should have bring out Cerberus to be honest, but then I realized I'm not gonna attempt, go for an OTK. I'm gonna just clear his board. So Electron popped that to ensure you have the scale. You don't always gotta pop your zero. That's why field spells are very good in uh, pendulums. You go dark room gazer. I do a little misplay here, but it's not. It's not really a misplay. I tried to, uh, I was thinking if I could OTK him, and uh, ideally, I think, so when I go LP here, this Trudeau, I think I could have OTK'd by this. What I should have done, I, sh I don't play Boral Load, I, Vortex Hero is correct, but then what I should have done is this Trudeau, the Jackal, but then, look, what I should have done is this, Vortex, Bounce Dalio, bring out this Trudeau, uh, bring out this Trudeau, I could have made this a Boral Sword with those three, or I could have made uh, Yazi. Over here, but then the issue with making a Yazi here is that I, ha I have to link these before I do it, which the only thing I can link it in my extra deck was a Heretic Seal, which wouldn't help. So even if I even if I put the Strudel out to make these a Brawl Sword, which I don't do, uh, so was a game. So I'll show you what, guys what I should have done. I should have negated the Gazelle Vortex, not with Jackal. I just negated it with Jackal as a mistake. I should negate it with Vortex and then clear his board and then go into Seal. Then I have a Seal of the Persona Dragon, Vortex, and a Jackal. Uh, with one two, one card in his hand. So I would auto win like that. So that's what I should have done. It was a mistake on my end. But now, because now Jackal's going to have one counter. So I'm going to bounce that. And now he's going to lose. And he just scoops it. I got Vortex in the gate as well. He couldn't do anything. So, but I still could have like just done it better anyways. But hey, we're 3-0 right now. Going second all games. So we've gotten second three games in a row. Three games in a row now. We got second. And we're, uh, we won every game. So now we'll see if we won. I, I don't know. This one, I made a huge mistake. This one was like a gigantic mistake of mine. Like, absolutely idiotic mistake. So, a lot of the times, my problem is I like to get uh, cocky. I like to, I, I like to uh, finish him quick. So, clearly, he has Salamangre. I didn't know it was an impermanent. So clearly, he had some Salamangre trap in here. I thought this was Twin Twister because the field spell was left in his hand. Uh, so since the field spells in his hand and not on the field, like why didn't he activate the field spell and put a second Bailinx in there? So I thought for sure he had a Twin Twister set. So I was thinking there was a Twin Twister and there was some Salamangrates, like a trap, so Rage. I was thinking Rage and Twister. Those are the two cards I was expecting. What I should have done, like a fuck, like not like an idiot, is attacked into the Bailinx first just in case. And then he had to get rid of a card in his hand, but... So it would have resolved in this a lot differently. Uh, so my Ravine got hit. Big mistake of my hand. I'm like, cool, I'm going to pen call. But then it's gonna, uh, clearly, he bricked. So he had clear his hand traps. The uh, ash. That was a huge mistake on my end. I should have played it a lot smarter than that. And just uh, attacked or pendulum someone first. Not turbo card first. 
knowing that he had those interruptions. We're going to keep going here. You never scoop when you play Pendulum. There's always a, a way to win against this deck. Now, again, another mistake here. I was I always want Dragon Ball Z while I do these testing. I rewatched all Dragon Ball Z from episode one. I'm on like episode 80 or something like that. But uh, on like a month, a few weeks. I don't want to say a month, like a few weeks. But Abductor Chrono. When I should have done a Destroy Chronograph. It's a special Time Gazer. Have a Chronograph in the extra deck. And then put Dragon Pit in the scale. To pen jump some Dragon Pit and have two monsters. And that would have been good. And I could have kept going. Uh, I could have gone to an Electrum and done my thing. Uh, but I did it like an idiot. So that was my loss. Uh, that I had to do it on that turn and no other turn. So it was my big mistake there. I do it on this turn. Electrum, and then he Phantasm, he hit it in permanent anyways, it didn't really matter to be honest. So I lose this, that, uh, the third game, I could have won, uh, so I lose the fourth game in total, but hey, this is match, uh, second match, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go first now. Uh, we are playing matches, but hey, we lost the die roll, that's the beauty of it. All you gotta do is win one game going second. It's like, bro, if, you're the, if you're playing basketball, you don't gotta win all four, road, all, all three road games, uh, all four road games, you gotta win one. You gotta just win one game on the road and you win, same as this. Win one game going second and you win. So, whether you win the dial or not, doesn't matter. Because you have two opportunities to win. And when you go first, you basically, you literally auto-win regardless. Look at this hand. Like, uh, so, Sayuja Vortex. Uh, he had saved the impermanence for Sayuja, knowing that I was going to do some crazy shit. Uh, so, I couldn't negate with a Vortex because uh, Sayuja cut a mount first before the Vortex. And now I can't summon any of these bad boys, which is all good. Because I was going to plan to do some cool plays, summon them all on board. Which is cool. You're just going to do the normal Guard Dragon combo. I shouldn't even put Persona Dragon back as a little uh, greedy, but he couldn't clear the board anyways of these three. Chrono and Persona were not on it. He had five cards in his hand to deal with the three, four interruptions. And the second he destroyed one of them, Chronograph was special summoning Persona Dragon. So it's going to be an, even another interruption. So that's another win. Now this one, underrated deck. going to go fast forward. This deck can play in incredible amounts of uh, Floodgates. And Floodgates is a problem against Pendulum. Everyone knows this. Dark Magician. Dark Magician with infinite floodgates is actually very powerful because these floodgates don't affect the Dark Magician deck at all. And little by little, Dark Magician Circle is gonna start banishing all your shit. So I open decent, I open good, like well, I had open Gazer, but it's still a good hand. Uh, Macro Cosmos cocks me. Now here's why I make a big mistake. As I said earlier, I should have win this game. Look at this. I was playing Dragon Ball. I was watching Dragon Ball Z, so I wasn't paying attention. I had no idea what his other back rows were. He searched Illusion Magic, so I knew it was Illusion Magic. And uh, you know, you're gonna see this. So I should have popped the uh, Macrocosmos. I'm gonna have an easy chance to do it with Dragon Pit eventually. So he does this. He gets rid of Servant. Obviously, he has to, or else he lo auto loses. Now, well, if I paid attention, he searched this. I just didn't pay attention because like, I'm an idiot. So I should have won this. But uh, he had Illusion Magic, and I just had no idea. I didn't even look, pay attention at all. So the only interruption left is a Macro fucking Cosmos. And all I gotta do is just pop it, which is the easiest thing in the world. So, like, Look at this, like, easiest thing in the planet, and for some reason, I, I punted this game right here so badly, I ended up losing, actually, look at this, how hilarious it is, my big mistake. So, Servant's gonna hit the board, right? And now I have this to negate this, even though I didn't know what the hell it was at the time, and then very simply, I should have just put Old Dragon, pop the Macrocosmos, uh, Electrum, win. But I don't, I completely forgot what it was, I'm like, what if it's a Solemn Strike or something like that? I had no idea, I'm like, oh my god, I'm a fucking moron. And then I go into Electrum, uh, my, all my stuff is going to get banished. I'm like, oh my god, now I can't even Guard Dragon combo properly. I can only put up one Bro Sword and I won't even be able to do anything. I'm like, this is so sad. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to Vortex, I'm going to bounce that. Then look how unfortunate it is. I'm like, okay, I'm in great place. How can I lose it? He has three Dark Magicians in hand. This guy has three Dark Magicians in hand. How am I losing this? Matt Cosmo, this, I'm like, there's no way I'm losing this. In fact, uh, if I, the only way is if I, he stalls out and draws a card. I'm going to negate any way that, any card he brings out, I'm going to negate with Vortex, right? Any card he brings out in the game of Vortex. I'm like, there's no card in the game right now that can save him. And then he's going to be left at 5,000 life points exactly. Right? He's going to be exactly 5,000 life points. I'm like, perfect. If I go into Seal, uh, I can't do anything. I'm like, I'm going to... If I go into Seal, I can't OTK him next turn. He's going to have a second turn to wait. So what if he draws two cards to Special Summon? Then I lose. So I'm like, this is exactly 5,000. I'm just going to negate... He has three Dark Magicians in hand. Three Dark Magicians in hand. All of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dark Magician fucking... It, anyways, I'm going to negate any card he draws, and then attack 5,000 and win. Look what he draws. Look what he fucking draws. Look at this. Look at this. Super fucking plot, you fucking... And I left him two of these dark ones. This is a seal because it's exactly 5,000. I'm like, I'm like, after that, I'm like, how the hell is this happening? How the hell am I losing a game to Dark Magician? I couldn't believe it. Heart of the cards to the max. Yugi, this is not the most Yugi-like thing ever. Nothing is. 
He has three Dark Magician hand, and the only card left he has hand, I'll get Negate with Vortex, and I win. Super fucking poly. That's the most Yugi hard luck cards play I've ever seen in my fucking life. Fuck you, Yugi. I can't believe it. And now I literally, those are gone. With macro now, I can't do anything. I cannot believe it. Like, I absolutely can't believe it. I'm like, all right. If I go here, I'm like, okay. If I go harmonizing, go time. Uh, I thought I lost my, I, yeah, I lost my time games. Otherwise, I would have gone into Yazi. Pop, Mare Mare, win. But like, I can't do anything right now. This is so sad. I'm like, and then I drew into Mare Mare, but I couldn't even go into it because Gazer and Sudo were gone. I'm like, great. Mare Mare, you're useless. But what I should have done when I drew it, yeah, I should have, yeah. So I'm trying to get rid of stuff. I'm like, I can't do anything. A tribute summon. I'm like, I still can't do anything because now if I go Bro Sword, I could have cleared the board at one. But then Macrocosmos, I can't even bring out Link Rebo. Like, how the fuck did I just lose to Dark Magician in game one? I can't, couldn't actually believe it. Like, like, I couldn't believe it. That was one of my biggest punts of all time. That one's going to go down in, in history. But I'm kind of happy I lost like that because we're talking a three Dark Magician. I had a Nick one. We get one card in hand. I was going to get three Dark Magician in hand. And Yugi came through for him. So now I'm ready to just obliterate it. We're going to fast forward this turn. This is going to be like a 20 minute video. I don't care. Uh, we're doing one la last match after this. Losing four matches, losing die rolls. I can't believe I lost. I still can't believe. Like, even at this point where I already knew the results, uh, like, of the whole, I still can't believe I lost that game to Dark Magician. Absolutely despicable. We're going to fast forward the rest of the way. Uh, so here we're going to guard dragon combo, do all this stuff with shenanigans. Okay, okay. The desire is really hurt, so it could have been even better. But hey, that's fine. This should have been a dragster. But it's cool. Uh, you're not going to do anything to the infinite negates. But hey, sphere mode. Get fucking wrecked. He sphere modes my three negates. He sphere modes my three spell and trap negates. I'm like, God damn it, bro. Like, I'm like, okay, it's okay. It's okay. I still got this. I still got an uh, incredible advantage here. I can't do anything. So it's four. I go into Phoenix. I'm going to pop everything he has little by little. Uh, pop one. Pit, pop the other. Uh, go into Yazi. Uh, he goes internal soul and skill drain. I'm like, God damn it. Uh, more floodgates. Like, but then I just link it, everything, and summon and win. And he not anything else. So one, one. Uh, now game three, we're, like, we're gonna fast forward everything. I'm happy he went first. Uh, okay, I want to show you guys going second mainly, but obviously it's a match, so you only need to win one. So we we, we gave him like you could lose one, you could lose one. It's why there's three. It's okay. It doesn't you don't gotta four row someone in a best of seven series. So little by little, I'm gonna Garuda. I'm gonna pop that. I have no high scale, which is unfortunate as hell. Like you play so many high scales in this deck, but you don't draw any. Uh, and then you know, Electrum to get in the skill drain. I'm like, God damn it! He, this guy opens the fuck it every game. I hate floodgates, the, the, the death of me. And now I'm like, hey, what can I do in this situation? I'm like, I was thinking about, I'm like, this is just absolutely sad. And then he goes, uh, he asks my shrine. I'm like, okay, uh, let's keep going here. Uh, I get my centric with abductor. I'm like, what, could I, what should I do here? But then I knew he had the trap card, the magician navigation. So he'd banish my centric instantly. So I didn't want to summon the centric. I'm like, I'm going to scare him. Summon the poison and I hope he banishes the poison. I'm trying to bait him into banishing the poison. So next turn, I could uh, summon a centric, pen summon, and then destroy skill drain. Uh, and then look what happens. And then uh, desires. Uh, the good position that I completely forgot. He had magician navigation. Oh, that's cool. No problem. Uh, then I got a centric to pop the skill drain and then twin twisters. I'm like, get fucking wrecked. I just lost a match to, I just lost a match to dark magician. I can't believe it. But I'm like, you know what? I have more pride than that. We're playing one more time. So I'm like, yeah, one more match. Uh, I'm like, you go first. You go first. I want to do all this losing die rolls. Hey, we draw Jackal. It sucks, but it doesn't matter. I'm like, yo, there's no way I'm going to lose this. We draw Jackal and Cerberus. We only play one Mythical Beast uh, game one. Game, you side it going second. You the Garuda. I'm like, there's no, just no way I'm going to lose this again. Absolutely no chance. I refuse to lose two matches in North Dark Magician. Then this guy pulls out Summon Limit. I'm like, get the hell out of here. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to set the Servant and let him destroy it. And then I put it here, activate Infinity Spells and summon it out. Then uh, he attacks them. I'm like, you know what? Wait a second. I shouldn't put it here because I only have two spells. I'm like, that's kind of stupid. But I let him destroy it on Resolution Chrono Cerberus. We're going to uh, wreck this guy. Uh, he can't get over a Cerberus. So we're good. As long as he can't get over a Cerberus, there's uh, none of his monsters can do it with Summon Limit on board. We can't Link, link Climb. Then he fucking steals him a Crackdown. I'm like, my day, let me, I just want to shoot myself now. I love my life so much, but you're making me not like it so much. Fucking summon limit. Like, Dark Magician Floodgates is actually really powerful, guys. I'm telling you guys right now. Now, here, we're going to keep going here. Uh, we just keep going, bro. We keep going. Like, you never give up against this deck. You have Dragon Pit. We're good. We good. We good. Dragon Pit. Get rid of that shit. I know you got magi one more Magician Nav. Okay, that's cool. Next turn. That shit's gone. Someone's gone next turn. Pen summon everything and win. 
I could have also the option of just literally pen summoning everything and not attacking and not doing anything. But I'm like, no, oh, we're gonna we're gonna just chill. We're gonna just chill. And I would rather make the electrum instead of doing all that because it's either one or the other. Uh, then uh, the stuff are still looking kind of bleak, but it's not over. This guy gets another magician navigation. I'm like, goddamn. Uh, but it's okay. It's never over. Don't forget that it's never ever over. It's just we're one Yazi away to win. Uh, one Yazi away from winning. Uh, that's it. Uh, I want to do this alliance, pen call, get a time gazer, so I can summon Harmo and gazer at the same time. And then Yazi pop this, and then I can do all my shit. But then, like, moron, I desires, and I banish oh, my fucking... I knew he was going to get rid of that. I knew that. He has one more Magician Nav left, right? Uh, I'm going to bait it with the desires. Uh, that was my plan, I believe. Or do this alliance. Pen call. Wait, what happened? Okay, oh, sorry. No, no, no. I think he was saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was going to desires. I shouldn't have even desires. I should have just put us... A... He's going to stop that, yeah. He knew how to second one, I believe. Or no, he didn't stop it. Okay, he was waiting for a dragon pit. That's what he's waiting for. He was waiting for the dragon pit. That's why. Because he knew a dragon pit was coming. So, but I don't play that second one. He didn't know that. But some of tough. But yeah, now like moron, I desired. But I should not have desired. I should have uh, pen summoned everything. Got Yazi. So not active harmonics in effect. Yazi, pop. And then bring up Miramir. And then win. But I desired it away. And I'm like, I'm so stupid for doing that. And then uh, I'm like, yo, you win this one. So now game two, I'm like, there's no chance whatsoever. I'm just going to fast forward the rest because it's going to be like 23 minute video. Uh, bro, I'm just going to fast forward. Look, I drew four and demon cards. I'm like, yo, there's no way I'm losing. Even with that garbage. Like, you don't never want to see four and demon cards. You only want to see one, max two. We drew four. But it's okay. Even with that, we still got Jackal out. We're still going to whoop his ass. We're still going to whoop, bro, we're still gonna whoop his ass. Like I told you, going first is auto win. Even if he has sphere more, it doesn't matter. We're going to fast forward the whole way through. We're going to do the whole normal uh, thing. Obviously, I win this one. Game three is gonna be insane though. You're gonna see it's gonna go down the wire. But hey, going second, like bro, I want to show you guys wins and losses, bro. I refuse to lose Dark Magician twice in a row, bro. I'd rather, I'd rather, bro. If I lost Dark Magician two matches in a row, I would throw my laptop outside and sing with the birds, bro. I'm gonna do a little cool play here. If you guys don't notice, absolute and burst into Sayusha go vortex and then Destrudo. So usually that's how you go into the uh, Agar Pain. A cool little play for those who don't have two level sevens off the Pendulum Summon. You gotta learn stuff like that. That's why you guys watch my videos, right? And if you're here right now, shut up to all you guys still watching. But uh, I thought he had severe mode as a joke, so I put him out. And he can't, can't do anything. Like, that. Darkman just can't play that. So, game three now, he goes first. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you guys right now. This is gonna be a great match. I'm gonna fast forward the whole way through. I don't like opening double desires and stuff, because now if I discard one, he knows I have it, and I don't want to desires off the bat. But it's all good. I'm gonna do a big mistake here, uh, I think. But hey, uh, we're gonna see what, what happens here. So. He searched Magician Nav. I don't know what he has set. Obviously, he has, but he has a Crackdown, as you can see. A Magician Nav and, and a Macrocosmos. So, Macrocosmos causing me troubles again. Uh, so, here's what I should have done. I think I should have gone Abductor first because Abductor would search the Eccentric. That was my mini misplay, but that's totally fine. Then he ashes uh, my uh, one of my, my Servant, which a new ruling. You could use Servant now uh, if it gets Ash. So, new ruling there is amazing. Uh, don't forget that. So the new ruling, if Ash, if Serving gets Ash, you can do it again. Thank you, Julia Judge. Uh, so we can bring this out. I rather Cerberus. I want to start going for major damage right now. Uh, and I want to put him with 2,000 the next turn kill him. Because Matt Cosmos, he can only stall for so long. Uh, I'm going to go Electrum. And now he's level the choice. He's going to steal Cerberus like last time. Or, or Electrum. And he's like, I'm going to take that Electrum get that shit out of here. Now you have more uh, options here. But I'm like, no, you got to stall a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna summon the poison. I'm gonna just keep it there. I don't want to destroy the Mac Cosmos right now. If I destroy, if I attack Mac, uh, the Electrum, this purple poison will die. Macro will die, and then Cerberus. But then he's still left with advantage. It's just Cerberus versus top deck, which uh, see, so like I don't like that. I'd rather the, like I also knew it now. I'd rather it gone off the field. There's only a play with big guy. Obviously, take Cerberus. Didn't want to destroy Mac Cosmos. I didn't feel Mac Cosmos was a threat, and uh, I just kept going here. I had a few plays I could do. But I'm like, you know what, little by little, we're going to do a lot of stuff here. I'm going to keep fast forwarding here, show you guys some cool plays. I use Servant to give Abductor the third counter by discarding the Eccentric. Uh, arguably, I could have cleared his board by destroying one of the Eccentric, destroying one with Poison, but then what was I doing? Literally just passing. So uh, I just normal Servant to give Abductor the third counter. Summon the Harmonizing out. And you know, that was a 25-minute video. God, boy, God damn, but it's all good. They bring this out now. I'm only play really Boral Sword. I'm like, he has a top deck of Magical Circle. It's the only way out of him winning right now. He has no access to Dark Magician. Mac Cosmos banishes everything. Uh, that Dark Magician is gone. And then we just saw in the graveyard. This is gone. He, uh, this is Eternal Soul, I believe. Oh, Duality. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Oh, no, yeah, sorry. He has one Dark Magician left. So I'm like, what really can he do? He has a duality and a random card. There's really not much this guy can do. Uh, so he gets Eternal Soul. I'm like, yo, after I saw Eternal Soul, I'm like, the only thing you can do now is just Dark Magician Circle. He fucking drew it. Fucking Yugi over here. The only card to clear Boral Sword in this guy's deck is Dark Magic Circle. I'm like, god damn it, bro. This guy's the definition of heart of the cards, man. Absolute depth. Like, we got rid of all the Dark Magician too. Like, where's two Dark Magicians in there? Like, bro, like, are you kidding me? Like, all three of the Dark Magicians are about to be burst. Dark, the three Dark Magicians were in his hand. Now they're all about to be banished. I'm like, I, I can't go out this way. I can't lose Dark Magician twice. I refuse. I refuse. And then, like, an idiot. I can't fucking read again. Eternal Eccentric doesn't even work on Dark Magician. Eternal Soul protects it. I can't read. I can't believe it. I took Eccentric. Then I destroy this. All Dark Magicians are banished and I auto win. And then I realize Eternal Soul uh, is unaffected by monster effects. I'm like, oh my god, Steven, you absolute idiot. And then he sets his card as a bluff. Uh, I was definitely scared of it. It, it definitely, uh, if I was, uh, it definitely, if, I, if he did not set this, I probably would have pen called. So it was a good play they did at the time. Got Harmo. I don't think I got any stuff left. I'm like, I gotta go absolute and hope that these are both bluffs. And like, what can he do anyways, right? At this point, like, there's nothing, the only stuff he can do is like a crackdown. Crack, I mean, he already used one, I believe. Uh, so I'm like, thank God he can do anything. I'm like, now he needs to draw something. Then he had a super poly, but I don't. I have one dark, one win. He needed me to put another dark. And he had no card to discard early when I had two darks, so he had to set the buff earlier. So, get right, son! Man, that's a great match, bro. Nyx is a uh, great match. Uh, yeah, that's the video, guys. Long as shit. I don't care. It's all for you guys. I test a lot for you guys. You guys can win. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Check out my new mat. I'll see you guys tomorrow's video. Peace.